Welcome back to another week of Film Fridays. This week, we're going to be tapping in with J.J. Reddick and how he scores on off-ball movement. So, I think he's one of the best off-ball shooters that we've seen. His change of speed is elite. The way he reads his defender coming off screens is elite. So, we're going to go over a few clips. Let's get right into it with J.J. Reddick breakdown. So, right here. Right off the jump, we have the big is going to be setting a ghost screen on Chris Paul. So a ghost screen is when you set a screen, but you slip out before you make contact, right? Hopefully causing some confusion between your defender and the guy you're going to set a screen on. So what he really wants to do is come and set a pin down for JJ Reddick, right? JJ knows this is coming. So he already leaves the corner early coming off the screen which catches his defender off guard by one second. And all you need as an elite shooter is one second of separation to get your shot off. Now, his defender tries to shoot the gap. So all JJ does is stop right behind the screen and pulls up for a three. So we have a floppy action right here for JJ, which is he can, he can decide which side he wants to come off of, either the left side or the right side. It seems here that he's coming off of Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin sets an unbelievable screen for him, causes his defender to just jump out the way because he doesn't want to get hit. But all JJ needs is a little bit of space to get that shot off. So if you're a shooter, you got to know that defenders are going to be physical with you, right? On their scout, the scout says, do not let you get an open shot. Now, you can use that to your advantage, as JJ does right here. If they're going to be physical with you, you can be physical back, and the ref's usually not going to call it. So right here, he uses his defender's physicality and throws him into the screen. That's perfectly fine. He doesn't extend his arm. He just sort of pushes him a little bit into that screen. Now, he has space, right? All you need as a shooter is one or two seconds of space to get your shot off. Also, if you get space, you know your defender is going to be running at you crazy trying to block your shot. And you have to know that as a shooter. So what JJ does here is shows a simple pump fake, gets his defender flying in the air, and just takes a simple one-two pull-up. So during your own workouts, you should be doing drills like this. Put a chair down, come off the screen, and just rise into your shot, right? These are the kind of things you have to notice when... When you're playing against a team, how are they going to guard you off ball? Are they going to chase? Are they going to try to shoot the gap? And that's what you need to work on by yourself. So I started a group called Hoop Club where I give you shooting workouts every single day. And it's the workouts that I even do every single day that help me become the shooter that I am. So if you want to tap in with that, I'll put the link in the description here. So let's go over one more clip from our guy, JJ. Now, here's a perfect example of if the defender goes over the screen you want to flare to the corner. So he comes off the screen here, notices his defender is trying to shoot the gap and just flares to the corner for a three. Simple basketball when you're a shooter. All right, we'll go over one more clip. Look at this little floppy action here. JJ's coming off his guy, right? He does a little curl, tries to get his defender off him. Now look at his head turn. He sees, where's my defender going? How is he guarding me? Oh, he's trying to shoot the gap. Let me get to the corner, get my feet set, and rise up for a three. So keep shooting simple, right? Don't try to overcomplicate things. As you can see here, he notices the defender goes to the gap, goes right to the corner for a three. Like So the basketball is all about sequences. It's all about patterns. If you notice that your defender's doing this, there's a counter to that. So it's about programming yourself and knowing how your defender's guarding you and knowing where your shot's going to be. So hope this video helped. Um, I'll tap in with some more. Um, we'll, we'll tap in with some other players next week, but um, I think shooting is a superpower and you need to do the best you can to maximize 